guys. Jujutsu Kaisen today. Well, the chapter came out. The chapter came out yesterday, but I was, you know, I did one piece that day, and I didn't want to do two chapters in one day. That's it's a lot of work to do. But um, yeah, as you can see, the layouts changed too. Uh, trying to get more professional in this in this shit. But uh, yep, the volume's right there, right, right, right there, right, 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 right there. Chapter's there. My TikTok is there. <laughs> We're not gonna waste any more time. We're gonna get right into the chapter. We're gonna start reacting. We're gonna start reading. And Jujutsu Kaisen, if you haven't read it, or you haven't watched it, or if you've not caught up, don't watch this video. Go read it. Go watch it. Go catch up. Good. And also, read along. Read along, because I'm not great at describing what's going on, so read along. Alright. Oh, shit. Alright. So, we're in a room with, uh... So, we got Choso and, uh, Yuji. Um, just... Battle plans, obviously, because... I've had a few of these throughout the throughout the chapter. This, this entire arc, I've just been loving, by the way. And also, culling games. I've, like... I've had a bit of a retrospective on Cullen Games, and I've, I actually fucking enjoyed Cullen Games. I actually really enjoyed it. Hmm. The trick to con convergence. It looks like I'll be doing switch training with Okotsuku Senpai and Kusakabe Sensei, so I'll need to work on blood manipulation the hard way. We only have one month. Give me, give me every piece of advice you got. Convergence is kind of, it's kind of like this. Then like that. Then a little seriously, dude. <laughs> You Yuji Yuji is dumb as a bag of bricks, but he can fight. He can fight. Think of bathing in a hot water. Think of bathing in hot water. You can feel the heat encompassing your entire body. In that in that same way, you can expand your blood vessels, creating a vague outline of your body. Let me just make sure that my uh my audio and mic is uh centered. There we go. That's the basic foundation of blood manipulation. Like when you piss yourself. Ah oh, yeah, good one, Yuji. Good one. Uh, whatever works. <laughs> just, uh, just let him, just let him think whatever. Convergence is a technique that compresses your blood, meaning we could use sponge or paper, anything that can be crumpled in your in your hand easily to help with to help with imagining. It's similar. It's a similar feeling how cans or clay works. Uh, for starters, we don't have the we don't have the time to make blood manipulation a potent weapon for Itadori. It'll be better for him to get the basics of stitching and stopping. Topping blood down. I read I read the panel in the wrong way. I am so used to reading comics. I'm so sorry. Uh, Choso, this I'll, re I'll read that. Choso, this is what it means to teach someone. Supernova, ask me about Supernova, and then, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I I I am a and oh, Jesus, the Sukuna panel. My God, Ryomen Sukuna. Can only open the furnace doors after preparing his ingredients, cleave and dismantle. Despite their absurd firepower, the flames within the furnace lack both speed and range. To amend this, Sukuna undertook another binding vow. <sighs> this has got to bite him in the ass at some point, right? Because he's made like a lot of, he's made quite a few binding vows at this point. This has got to bite him in the ass at some point, right? Like, surely, surely this has got to like have this has got to bite him in the ass at some point. Outside of his do domain, furnace can be used on multiple targets. The binding vow enabled Sukuna to not only reduce all within the Malevolent Shrine's range to dust, but to ensure that all the resulting particles were matted in in the explosive cursed energy akin to furnace. On top of this, Sukuna deftly, deftly. Deftly altered the functionality of the domain to one, to one that only allowed entry to living beings, maintaining the shrine's output while sealing it. All right, uh, airtight. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I was laughing. I was laughing at the the fucking <laughs> Urami, the Urami, the Urami fucking Nah, I'd win. Fucking pose, but then she dropped. That she, they, she, they, him. I'm call them they. They dropped a fucking nuke. Well, at least we're getting the fucking like 
Hakari and fucking Yurame fight again. Jesus. This is our victory. Nah, I'd win. Jesus Christ, bro. The exact same smile, face, and pose and everything. We know how this goes. Hakari looks fucked, man. So does you. I say, say Hakari. Look at fucking Yuji, bro. That nuke is huge, though. That is the that is basically a nuke. <sighs> Thermobaric explosives and the transformed particles ma matter dance, raining down on every inch of the domain. The heat of furnace spread the detonations immediately, birthing scalding, instantly compressing and decompressing shockwaves, ensuring the death of all living beings within the domain. Yeah, well, you don't have to tell me twice. I can see it with my very own fucking eyes. An attack capable of instantaneously obliterating Maharaga back in Shibuya. Oh my god. <laughs> this is Ryuma Sukuna's ultimate move. A fucking nuke. Jesus. Oh bro, they are fuck. I don't think winning this shit. I don't even know. It's gotta be- The- 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 uh, The binding vow has gotta be the fucking- <clears throat> Bite in the ass for Sukuna. Cause I don't see- I don't see how- like, He dropped a fucking nuke. On top of constantly altering the necessary conditions for his barrier technique, the repeated use of binding vows to alter his effective range meant that during his battle with Gorgia Satoru, the furnace remained cool cooled as Sukuna didn't have the freedom to unseal its flames. Oh, oh god. Yuji, oh fuck. Choso? What are you doing? Oh fuck. Off. Oh, you can't do this. I'm sorry. I was useless during training. Your big brother tends to do things instinctively. Chozo! Oh, he is fucking. Oh, he got obliterated. Instinctively, huh? You really hit the nail on the head, bro. Chozo got obliterated. Oh, he is dead dead. Oh, he's not. Oh, oh, he is dead dead. Oh, no, they got the they got the scene of him. They got the scene. Oh, no, he is dead dead. He is he is dead dead. Not even fake out death. Not even like, oh, gotcha. Dead. He's dead. They got the, the fucking scene of him and Yuji at the fucking dinner table where all his brothers were before. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, Jesus, man. When I catch you, Gege. When I catch you. Yuji. Yuji, you got a grasp on reverse curse technique much faster than I did. Oh, jeez, Gege. What the hell is wrong with you? Not thanks to me, Sukuna just happened to use it a lot in my body. Don't be so modest. It's only natural for a little brother to surpass his big brother. That isn't any reason for you to leave. Well, I need to apologize to Sukumumo too. Yuji, I'm sorry. I'm leaving you on your own again. Fuck me, bro. Oh. That's what you're worried about? You were there for me when I needed someone the most. That's more than enough. Is that so? Jesus, fuck, man. Why you gotta do this, Gege, man? Are you there, big bro? I'm so cold, big bro. I'm here. It's okay. Let's talk. As long as we're talking, we can forget about the cold. Our 150 years were all but a few days to Yuji. Thank you, Yuji. Thank you for being my little brother. Man, this is... I can't lie. This is rough. This is rough. Like, this is rough. Thank you. Oh my god, there he is. Just, oh, that's rough. Big brother. That is rough. God. That is rough. Sorry, I just need to articulate my thoughts together. Jesus. That is rough. 
I didn't expect it. That I I'm not really a big Choso fan. I like Choso. I like his relationship with Yuji, like the brother dynamic. I'm not the biggest Choso fan though. But I do like him. But uh, I didn't expect it to hit that hard, man. It didn't. There are two deaths in Jujutsu Kaisen that really, really fucked me. Oh, fucked me up. First was Nanami. Nanami got Nanami. I was so pissed when Nanami died, like legitimately pissed off. And then there was Gojo. Gojo's death fucked me up for like the entire entire week. I couldn't stop thinking about that man's death for the entire week. I think most of us just couldn't stop thinking about how he, he lost. That really fucked me up too. But here's the thing. I, g I gave a shit about Nanami, Gojo, and Choso's death. Like, holy, like, Jesus, fuck. Nomara got f fucking off, and I didn't give less of a shite. Gege, like, bro. I don't think he he failed he failed the female characters in the way that uh, uh, Kishimoto did. But I definitely give less of a shit about the female characters in this manga. Oh, Yuki, Yuki! I remember. I fucking remember, Gege. Fuck you. I remember. Yuki pissed me off too. She was Gege, no joke, she was Gege's best female character, and he killed her off. He killed off Yuki. I fucking remember Gege. I remembered! Oh my god, man. And now it's just Yuji by himself. Is everyone? Is anyone? Itadori Yuji always told himself he was nothing but a cog in a machine. That he fulfill his role as needed, he should have been able to repay his brother, who gave his life protecting him. Yet, as his eyes fell upon him, scorched earth, cool, cool stale air, and settled dust, he found his conviction shaken to its roots. Holy shit, man! There he is. Are we actually finally getting? This is this is it. This is it. This if this is. If this isn't the full fucking proper 1v1 final showdown looking type shit it is, after his brother just died, they're facing off each other 1v1 like this, there's no way this isn't it. There's no way this isn't fucking it. Look at him, man. Yeah, he's pissed. He is fucking pissed. I said, I I... No way. No way. No. No way. My Brusa! The boy. He's here, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Christmas special. My Boogie Woogie. Oh, Jesus, man. There he is. Oh, his, arm, his arm's there. Oh, mm, his arm's kind of there. Is this it? Is this what you're doing, Gege? The final fucking showdown is with Yuji and Toto versus fucking Sakuna. I'm gonna come! Toto! Bro. <laughs> oh my god, man. I'm, you don't understand? I am getting literal fuck. I've had fucking chills this entire chapter. This is how you're doing it, Gege. Oh my god, man. I take back what I said earlier about Yuki, but I did I did remember you. I, 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 I forgive, but I do not forget. I see, Mr. Toto. Using my crows and your technique, we can evaluate people from within Sukuna's domain. I forgot Marky's still alive. Is she? Uh, I can't remember. I think, yeah, she's still alive. Being caught in that domain means instant death. I can't guarantee it'll save lives, but it's worth trying. Naturally, you'll be si situated outside the domain, so it'll require you extending the effective range of boogie boogie, boogie. by quite a bit. <laughs> you'll likely have over four targets to manage, too. Do you think you you and that and that arm of yours is really to the task up to the task, Mr. Toto? I can't be certain, but I can still feel it. It's throbbing beat, the pulse of boogie woogie. <laughs> we can't let brother know about this plan. You know why, don't you, Miss May? 
the renaissance, indeed. It adored Yuji and Ryoma Sukuna with two souls inhabiting one body. Although severed, their connection runs thick. I hear, I hear that that the Yasuhachi Bridge mission was triggered by Itadori's swallowed finger resonating one with the wild. Shoot. You're suggesting that Itadori-kun may unconsciously reveal the plan's details to Sukuna? Correct. Correct. We'll do the same with the detail, details behind Okotsu, Okotsu's plan. Inform him to enact in only moments before. Furthermore, we cannot let brother know any of, uh, any of this. Locked and shut, my mouth is as tight as my purse strings. May May. His plans with Mei Mei, the time spent fine-tuning his technique along time Okotsu Yuta, Todo himself being unable to verify the safety of his allies, the fact that he couldn't swap Itadori or Chosu who were caught at the epicenter of Yuriyama Sukuna's domain, there, w there simply wasn't enough time to tell Itadori Yuji all of this. Why you ask? I'm sorry brother, however... Toto? Everyone else is most likely fine. <laughs> oh, bro, they're about to fucking pop the fuck off. You don't understand. This duo is fucking nuts. Most likely fine. I'll believe him. That's all I can do right now because. Oh, bro, like the. <laughs> Posing, bro. Look at them posing together. I haven't seen this shit since Shibuya, man. After using his do domains, Yoma Sukuna has entered the state. Probably bonds like linked on the path to victory, in which it is painstakingly difficult to use his cursed technique. Bro, look at look at that, look, at, look at Yuji going. Pow, we're about to beat your fucking ass, Sukuna. And Toad's like, oh. Bro, I've had chills this entire chapter! <sighs> no break. No break next week. 2.59, end. Next week, folks. Next week, we are about to witness cinema. Cinema. Next week, we are literally about to witness cinema. I can't lie to you. I am fucking gassed. I, I like seeing these two on the field fighting Sukuna. Bro, it's something I didn't know I wanted until it fucking it's fucking happening right now. If I if ugh, gay, gay, I beg, right? Make this on the level of Sukuna versus Gojo, but it's Yuji and Todo versus Sukuna. Make the fight go balls deep, rock hard, fucking. Oh, Jesus, man. Oh. I, I, I'm on a high right now, man. I'm, I, I, I can't sit still. I'm on a high. My, my, my body is like. I'm just. Fuck. I love this fucking manga, man. I love this fucking manga. Look at this fucking... Probably Bond linked on the path to victory, bro. If I... Bro. I haven't had chills like this for Jujutsu Kaisen since... Since... Sukuna vs. Gojo every single fucking week. And my love for Jujutsu Kaisen was ignited because of that fight. And I feel like this fight will be the exact same way. Oh my days, man. I can't fucking wait. I, I hope you guys join me for next week because it's going to be fucking wild ass week. Oh my god.